All right, guys, John here. And D. With Sarge Reds, and we are going on another toy hunt. This is two I in like a week. Another? Another one. I don't know if we're gonna, uh, what we're gonna find at this one. It's like a house full of toys. A gentleman came into the shop and showed me some pictures. There were a lot of totes. A lot of totes. Feeling, feeling strong. Oh, you like the behind the scenes? You can see it in Denise's glasses. <laughs> It's not too far from the shop. We're gonna go check it out and uh, we'll show you what's there. Maybe we can make a deal. Maybe we can't. Never can tell. Ooh, she has eyeballs under there. Look at look, I'm wearing the uh, the old school shirt. Oh yeah, too. that's the old school one. We are gonna try to do a new logo. I have an idea. Oh and Denise, tell them about oh, don't tell them about your shirt. We got a shirt we're won. doing. The shirt that you got the logo that you're getting already. So yes, we have we're gonna new... have new shirts, new merch soon. I'm excited. It's gonna be uh centered around good morning, all you beautiful. So, we are standing amidst a big Star Wars collection. All right, yep, so there's a bunch of Star Wars, um, Black Series, it's got some Power of the Force. Not really any vintage stuff, but there's some cool stuff in here. There's a bunch of Funko Pops. Um, so it's, I don't even know how many bins there is, are. A lot of bins. There's a lot of stuff here, guys, and this will be stuff that we'll have available in the shop. Oh, wait, um, don't to get this guy, And Denise has to have Bob's Big Boy. <laughs> I don't know why, but she does. So, you got some more Star Wars stuff here. There is some um, DC, some superhero stuff. Some Ghostbusters. Some Ghostbuster stuff. And then there's some more totes there. I'm going to walk downstairs real quick and show you the rest. Got a little bit of everything. Yeah, there's a little bit of everything. There's some cool stuff. There's some... Um, oh, if you like Lucille Ball. There is some Lucille hands. Ball stuff. So, you have a bunch of Funko Pops. There are people running away from us over there. <laughs> They're like, why are these people in our house? Um, so you have a bunch of totes of Funkos, um, all kinds of different ones. Then you have Denise over here. So you got a bunch of Lucille, Lucille Ball. Balls. They're so cute. They're cool. There's a Santa Claus one. Um, there's some more here. You got a couple old lunch boxes, Marvin the Martian. Um, you got an Indiana Jones, some more Barbies. Now, what was this, like a pillow? That's, it's called. Do you know what the, this kind of pillow is called, John? Do you know what it's called? The Darth Vader pillow. No, it's called a husband pillow. Why? I, I just know that that's what it's called. The kind with arms. It's called husband pillows. That's not fair. Because it's a replacement. What's a wife pillow? <laughs> no comment. And then there's two more big bins of Funko Pops back there where everybody's yep. hiding from us um, from the camera. And there's more under the table. Out. Oh, do you want to? Yeah, okay. Yeah, they were on wheels, right? Yeah. And then if anybody buys DVDs or CDs, there is going to be a ton of yes. DVDs and CDs. So if you're interested um, in DVDs and CDs, contact us and we will get you in touch um, here. Because she's going to be selling all these. We don't deal in DVDs or CDs, but there are a ton of them. And like I said, we always try to help people get through all the stuff that they're trying to move. Even if it's something that we don't sell, we want to... Especially in this situation. I mean, it's, it's an emotional situation, so we want to help them out, make it as easy as possible. So yeah, there's... A ton of DVDs and CDs. Is there anything else that you guys are going to try to move? Because I'm asking our audience if there's people that are interested, they can contact me and I can have them get in touch with you guys. So with the CDs and DVDs and all that stuff. So some more Funko Pops there. Um, let me pause it. Front seat. So this is going to the front seat. This is uh, Denise keeps stealing my tape, and then I found this. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I think you steal my tape, and then it disappears, and nobody knows where it is. So now we have. That one's going in my desk so <laughs> but yeah there's a bunch of cds and dvds guys so if that's stuff you're interested in contact me um and i will get you guys in touch and there's some uh other stuff there and there's one more room that has some toys let me go up there and show you all right so this room as well has a bunch of black series toys um some more funko pops you got the uh first order Thingy Did you there. show this just because it's cool? So this is really cool. So now this is not something we're getting, but this is uh, something... Not for, not for sale, but... Not for sale. This is something our son put together, <laughs> which is really neat. It's a Lego Cast Disney castle, castle, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't it from Disney? Yeah, Cinderella's so. castle. I like this Funko. Did we talk about that? Was that included? I didn't I think we get that ultimately confirmed yet. All right, we've got to find out because that's cool. <laughs> that's going on my desk. So anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to get some of the stuff out of here. It's probably going to take a couple trips because our trailer's full from that last collection, but... We'll get all this stuff out of here, and it'll be in the shop probably in the next week or so. So we'll go through it in more detail when we get back to the shop. He always gives you guys timelines, and then everyone asks where everything is. Don't commit to something you can't do yet, Sarge. Some of it. Like one or two things. Like one or two things. Okay. All right, <laughs> all right guys. We've loaded up our first load of 
Mostly Star Wars in this load, I think. I think so. I think there's a couple like Funko Pops. A couple and stuff. Funkos. Um, super cool, cool people. Very nice. Very nice, sweet people. Um, so we don't have the entire details. I don't know if they went out, but I guess her son passed away. And, uh, oh, yeah. I didn't know if we were going to say that or not, but yeah, there, there, there was a loss. Um, and they're trying to deal with, you know, the belongings of somebody that they lost. And so we're just trying to help it out, make, make them, make it as easy as possible. Yeah. I mean, it's so, hard, you know, we dealt with, you know, we've dealt with dealing with the, the estate of Denise's dad and it, you know, it's hard to deal with all that stuff, you know, like every time you deal with something, that's one item is you a made memory, a, you know? Yeah. He made a really good point and I hadn't thought about it this way, you know, um, and it's fine if somebody wants to go through it and sell it on their own and you know deal do the eBay thing like if that's what they're comfortable with and they 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 know how to do it or they want to just do it on their own but um I, I know I would do exactly what you said is that every time I would have to touch and go through and list and then maybe pack a piece I would have to relive that memory over and over and over again and that'd be hard that'd be really hard on my heart so having somebody help you clean it all out get it all out you know get a good price you know clean it all out at one time like that's kind of emotionally cathartic i think yeah and that's like one of the reasons like in the in, earlier in the video they have all those dvds and all cds it's not something we deal with but i want to help them be able to get as much money for that stuff as possible and again there's not a ton of value in that stuff and you know i know that and i explain that to them but it's one less thing they have to deal with they don't have to take it at goodwill you know maybe they can get a couple dollars out yeah because that's what we like to do is like to try to help people especially in situations like this like with the 80s house you know that stuff sat for a long time but we were still finding memories like pictures and stuff yeah. actually i have some in here that i found that i need to get back to bill that are just pictures of his grandparents you know yeah so yeah i mean it's it's hard and it's amazing when you think about it how much just stuff a person collects through their lifetime Especially if you're a collector. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look at all the stuff that we have, you know? God forbid something happens. We have an entire store full of stuff. So. Alright, guys. We, um... I, I have no idea on the timing of when anybody's going to see this video. But, uh, we might be opening the shop a little bit late today. Yeah, Denise Oops. is going to be, uh, going up there and running the show for a little bit. Anyways, we're going to make a bunch of trips and get all this stuff out of their house for them That's and right. uh, start getting stuff out on the shelves. And uh, As soon as possible. Yeah, as soon as we can, guys. So I know Denise gives me a hard time because I'm always like, I always try to get some of it out right away. But that's why I always tell you, if you come to the shop, subscribe to the channel. If you see something you're interested in, it doesn't always hit the floor right away. Let us know and uh, we can try to set that item aside. So. Right. Anywho, on the road again. That's almost like a bonus. That's like a bonus for yeah, people almost, yeah. that follow us on YouTube and everything. They're like, oh. I saw that. I saw that you picked up this really cool thing on a pick, and uh, I'm interested in it. Well, there you go. That's how you get in line ahead yeah. of some people. Inside tips from Red. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. All, All right, right, guys. Cut. It. Out. All right. All right, guys. We are on truckload number, what is it? Yeah, it's four, because uh, the other gentleman that was there has his truck full, too. So, yep. Lots of Funko Pops. A bunch of them. Look at that. You got the Inquisitor there. I know that's a good one. So, tire truck's full. Other gentleman has another load of truck. Another load of truck of pops and black series. And I have one more trip I'm gonna have to make. But there's a lot of the blue ones. There's a lot of the orange line ones. There's a giant gizmo in there. Oh my god. These are so cool. All right, guys. Well, Shane's been making fun of me because we've been buying lots of collections. He loves Funko Pops. I love Funkos. All right, we're going to get this loaded up. They are the best, Shane. They are the best. Tell me this isn't the best. Look what we got. It's Look. a baby Lucille ball. Aww. This is she's so cute. It's baby red. This baby. is baby red. <laughs> There's a Fraggle Rock, rock one. Down Poppers. Fraggle Rock. Dun, 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 down a Fraggle Rock. Hey, they're flocked. Look at they do something, John. They flocked. Oh, that's limited to 3,000, too. That one's probably a good one. Let the music play. Down a Fraggle Rock. There's Boober. <laughs> this one, I want to see what this one is. That one? You want that one? Yeah. Am I holding it correctly? I don't know. Am I treating it gently enough? I don't know. He looks happy. <laughs> Shane, on the other oh, hand, looks Shane. like... At least it's Fraggle Rock. Fraggle uh, Rock's cool. <laughs> so we got a little bit more. I got to go back and get the rest. There's one more load. Uh, more. So we got some Lucy 
Dolls first batch of I don't know what that means. I think it's just something they wrote on there. Oh look, it's red with the dozer. Yeah. Alright, so we got some I Love Lucy um Barbies with this collection. Yikes! Yowzers! Oh, Ricky. I might look like that if you're throwing knives at me. You probably wouldn't have your eyes open because I'm not a very good shot. So I'd be dead <laughs> probably. <laughs> so there's some more Barbies here. They there's a. Um, where's that really time. cool Monster High doll? I think we already brought that in. Oh, here it is. Don't let Lisa hold this, she'll drop it. The, the zombie Gaga, Lady Gaga, wow. Monster High. Born This Way Foundation. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. That is very cool. Oh, look, she's even got the tattoos on her fingers. Yep. All right, so we got a few more inside here. And this box of, that's more of the Barbie dolls. Shane, what do you like better, Funko Pops or Dorbs? Dwarves? Dor not dwarves, dorbs. <laughs> dorbs? What's a dorb? Oh, we gotta keep these things readily available. So if you need an advent calendar, there's some Lego out advent calendars. Yep. And we do have some other ones on the way. What did we get? We got uh, Elf. Christmas Story and Elf. And Jurassic Park, I think. And Jurassic Park. So those are coming too. Now there was some Power of the Force in this collection, which obviously you guys know there's not a ton of value to Power of the Force, but when you buy it, you buy it all. I have the Power of the Force. So. That's true. All right. Well, let's get this last, uh, well, let's show us a couple of these. What do you got? There's a lot of Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. Just a She's a witch. Sugar helps the medicine. Mary Poppins and Jack. You got some Star Trek. What's this? So that's like gone with the wind, isn't it? That looks like yes. Brett Butler. No, 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 no. It's fiddly D. I think I'll think about it tomorrow. No idea. That's how it goes. Interlopers. Just kidding. Did you say I did. All right, let's get the rest of this stuff out of the truck and we go get the last part of this. All right, guys. So we have the last little uh, collection here, the last little bit of it. And there's what 600 pops, D. Yeah. We're going to catalog all these things, but there's some cool ones in here. I mean, you got some Rebels ones. We got a bunch of Stranger Things. So those ones will be going out because everyone's been asking for Stranger Things. These are the older ones, though. Um, got the Demogorgon, Mike, Will, Cogsworth. He's not from uh, Stranger Things. One of the totes I brought in had a Stranger Things that had the, was that Will Upside Down? Yes. What's Hippolyta? Zeb, oh, those are Rebels. That's... Rogue One, which is probably not very good. Captain Marvel. Hippolyta is... Oh, from, uh, what Marvel. is it called? Yep. She's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Are you take this one? Yep. And then this is some big ones. We got a big Yoda. We got some, uh, what are those guys? Nightmare Before Christmas. Looks like a Pokemon. Deadpool on a Unicorn. Ooh, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Everyone wants them. Charlie Brown and Snoopy. And... Denise is trying to figure out the Funko app. We got one of these uh, First Order TIE Fighters for the Black Series. I'll pull some of this stuff out. Or do you want to grab those out real quick and we'll show some of that stuff? Or are you busy on your app? Mark Hamill? Where? Mark Hamill Funko Pop. Well, that's cool. That's a Mark Hamill exclusive. I've never seen that before. Here, put that one aside. I want to check that one. All right, Darth Vader. We got some of the Mini Pop Puffs. We got a bunch of Wonder Woman. Yeah, there's a lot of Wonder Woman. What's the Cheetah? Are those all the same? It's Christmas Groot. Han and Carbonite. Deadpool. Is that Bill Murray? That looks like Bill Murray's head. It's Doc. Dr. Peter Venkman. Honda Carbonite. That's yeah. cool. So what else? We have a bunch of these smuggler bounties boxes. I think those are all full. Let's open one of those. I don't think they're like factory sealed. I want to see if they have the pops in them. Because I know we had some of the Rebel Pops in the last one. Shane, calendar. Oh, that's awesome. So there was a bunch of Power of the Force stuff in Episode 1 stuff. Which, as you guys know, nothing too exciting there. Let's see. That should be glued on. But these are pretty cool. T-shirt. What size? 3XL. And it's not fitting me. Okay, cool. So some Smuggler's Bounties exclusive. Two pops, a giant t-shirt, and a lanyard. Anything else in there? No. Nope. So, what do you think, D? That's cool. D thinks it's cool. Awesome. So, we will be getting a lot of this stuff. Uh... Oh, we got to show you Marvin the Martian, D. 
Here, I'll let you get it because I don't want to drop it. I'm going to let the person we call Hurricane get it out. It's probably just going to go in a display window. He's a pretty cool little piece. So this is from the Warner Brothers store, what it looks like. What's his catchphrase? I don't know. Mm, humans or something like that, wasn't it? Mm, he talked like this. He did talk like mm. that, yes. He kinda, looks like you. He like does look just like you. Have you seen yourself in the morning when you wake up? So, all right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this video right now. We'll probably go through as we get some of this stuff out and uh, go through some of them. We'll put some, uh, some more videos out of what kind of stuff we got in there because that's going to take a while. There was, what, four truckloads, five truckloads full of stuff? Too many. Shane is just a very, very grumpy man with a very, very grumpiness. There's some cool stuff in there, Shane. There's a 3D puzzle. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll catch you next time. We'll see you at the shop.